Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. Um, so today I actually finally was able to start a clan battle. Um, we finally got enough people in our clan. Basically we merged with a smaller guild, uh, a guild that was actually much smaller than ours. And we were able to, um, you know, put together at least 20 people. We actually have 30 people now and we we're able to do clan battles. So that's actually pretty nice. Um, yeah, I decided to, uh, give up on using my green screen like that that thing that thing tilts me is I, I literally just take that tablecloth and I like pull it across and uh, you know I, I kind of gave up on it I, I just at least until I move I think I'll I'll like you know eventually get an actual green screen once I was once, once I'm able to do that but uh, but for now we're gonna we're gonna man they're actually pretty low level we're gonna bully them yes we're gonna bully them that's that that's that's probably what's going to be happening right now um i think it's a pretty it's still a really good opportunity to show you guys the you know how clan battle works uh, so this is kind of just like my initial clan battle guide i don't think there's too much to say there's not too much um you know too much in game that you actually have to worry about it's basically just um like there's 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 no like mechanical thing that you have to worry about it's basically the same as um doing your your league battles but instead you have two teams of um, you know you need uh, 10 monsters to put on defense and the difference is the monsters that you use on defense you're not actually allowed to use them on offense also another rule is you're not allowed to use any um, repeats of the same monster which I actually think is I think it's pretty fair because like stacking dark mihos is pretty pretty OP um, but the good thing is if you use um, one of your units on on defense you can still use use another one on offense and if you use them on another fight um, you can still use the same type of monster so, so this is what I currently have on my defense team this is what I'm using in my um, arena defense right now it's it's pretty decent I think um, this team's actually quite strong and this team over here is what I'm running on um, on my second defense team now this is basically just uh, it's a pretty standard comp it's a full light comp to kind of counter the people who try to hit you with like all dark monsters um, I don't think it works that well in clan battles, but I just happen to have these monsters. Since these two are aggressors, aggressors are definitely really, really good. Um, Light Succubus is a bar booster, plus she has an HP lead, which is really nice. Um, plus the, the Wall Fang with, with her armor break, she's also a very, very nice ut utility monster. I happen to have her gemmed up, so I decided to just put her in. Same thing with the Light Spark it, I basically hit him as an, an, a hidden unit, and he's basically built full glass cannon, so um, there's a chance that he pops out and you know basically either shocks or like one shot someone all right um hmm i think this guy is the highest level level 48 we'll, we'll, we'll hit this guy all right so he's running a fire odin um light vig dark miho dark sea star this is a decent team you know just fire odin with the hp lead plus <coughs> Actually, no, the HP lead doesn't work here, but it would be okay for, for uh, League Battles because you would be able to get the HP lead in League Battles. Um, but yeah, I don't know why he set up the defense like this. He should have just went like Miho lead instead for the resistance. That would have actually been pretty nice. Um, I have actually was running this team for some of my fights. It was actually pretty good. Basically, this is like my, my arena offense team, but instead of the Dark Cupid, I'm using my new Spark It as well as uh, a Mona because I can't use two of the same monsters. Um, you're not able to use, like, you know, if I put in one one Gatito, the other Gatito is uh, is a little bit blacked out. Sorry, my <coughs> voice is a little bit weird because I think I have a little bit of a cold. Um, but yeah, the second team is basically just uh, two aggressors. I decided to put in my Thor for armor break and Sarin for for shield. Like, that's that's pretty much it. It's, it's pretty straightforward as well. Um, we're just going to hit him with this, and hopefully... Hopefully it's a good fight. Man, this loading takes quite a long time. This animation is so cool. You like, crash into each other. And then like this bridge goes down, and then you, you, you like fight each other on the bridge. This team's definitely still very strong, um, but the problem is my Mona doesn't have like really high crit rate, 
so it, it, it does have that does uh does cause some problems sometimes um, he hit a he hit a water Arthur I'm just gonna try to hit the Arthur first my spark it is built with crit rate HP defense so he actually has a little bit of damage if he crits as well because he is a dark dark monster um, and I'm mostly using him for offense that's why I decided to put a crit rate gem on him <clears throat> It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty much just like, uh, just like, just like a PvP fight. Um, the only problem is, or the only difference is, uh, is you have to have more monsters because once you use one team, you're not able to use the same guy again um, for another fight. I don't know how they match the the clans. Um, I think maybe they have a system where like they match the people with higher points with other people that have higher points. I mean, that would probably be more fair if I, if you think about it. But maybe they don't have anything like that. But if you don't have a lot of monsters, I would say just use like even if the monster is not good for PvP, just use monsters that you gemmed up and um, you're able to use. I think that's probably the best idea. Actually, put my best monsters on defense. So, you know, a lot of a lot of the my my uh, key monsters are, are actually on defense, but it's it's, it's perfectly fine. Um, I think offense isn't too hard. I think this is a pr it's a pretty decent system the way they designed it because this way you're kind of gimped for your offense. You can't use your, the the monsters you put on defense for offense. Um, I think that would actually be really fun if they did that for uh, for for arena as well. Is this the highest level one? Alright, I'll, I'll hit the guys with full HP because I think maybe my clan thinks they're harder or something. Um, Alright, so this is this was the second team I was running. Um, these are all like, a lot of them are like light dark teams. I have three dark sea stars and three dark mihos. So the good thing about raising, even if you have the duplicates of the same monster, the good thing about having duplicates is you can use them in, in various fights. So I was thinking of, um, you know, eventually raising another light vic. And maybe if they have like another, you know, if they have another rebirth event with more mihos and sea stars, I'll definitely raise more. Um, this way I can. Well, actually, all I need is one more, because then I would have one for each fight, and that's that's all I really need. Um, but yeah, I don't have all my monsters gemmed up, but I, I think I think this should be fine. Um, these are just light dark teams. The the um, Loki is just basically here for the leader skill. He really has no other purpose. Um, He's not really too good in PvP, but he does have that attack down, so I guess it's it's somewhat decent, so I decided to just uh, just use him for now. I should actually gem up my uh, water Anu again, because I, I ungenned him and gem gemmed up a second gen, but the second gen is probably not usable for PvP, so there's really no... Uh, no point in me. Well, I, I I guess there's a point because I need the second gen to do farming, you know. So that there is actually a point there. Um, decided to take out the guy with the highest threat, the Garuda, because he has armor break. Um, Odin actually has a lot of damage as well. Since he's evil too, I might be able to kill her. No, my Loki does no damage. Rip. All right, at least my Gatito survived that, so I get. I think we're pretty good. Man, these, these, my Monas are really sad. They have like no crit rate. <laughs> I'll try to put attack down on her. Alright, nice. I got a three turn attack down. That's, that's definitely pretty good. Alright, and then this, this, this should finish them off. So, um, if you're trying to raise monsters for clan PvP, I would recommend, uh, if you have, like, more copies of aggressors, I would I would recommend you raise them all. They're all really, really good. Even, like, Light Cocos, they're also really good as well. Um, kind of wish I went for the Maris. The Maris would have been really nice as well. Even if I had a Light Mari now, it would still be really awesome. So... Wait, Mona first. Yeah, Mona. Mona has the highest attack. Actually, since we stun her, we'll uh, we'll bully this Fire Valk. I 
I don't know how they match the the clans. Like I was, I was hoping they would match top clans with other top clans. I don't think we're top we're we're exactly a top clan, but we're we're kind of okay. We're pretty decent. We have some high level players, so I guess that's pretty good. The problem with uh, I think the problem with me is I don't have a lot of I don't have a lot of random monsters that I have like that are gemmed up really really well. A lot of people that focus on titans a lot um, have those monsters. But I only have a few key monsters that I, I gemmed up really well. Like I have like pretty pretty sick gems on those monsters. Um, but the others are just kinda kinda sad. I think mid-tier PvP units in, in clan battles would still be very, very good. Because they're not most of the time um, your opponent, you know, they might have their best team gemmed up with really, really high resistance, but Chances are their other teams probably don't have as high resistance, so you can kind of take advantage of that and use like stunners and stuff. Um, I don't know who to hit this guy. the The unfortunate thing is I have no other other uh, six star monsters that are that actually have gems, so I actually have to use a level fifty here. But I guess it's fine. I mean, um, Cupid's definitely pretty good. I could regem some of these monsters as well. I could definitely just put like a random attack set on the July, or uh, or a tank set on this Blight Miho, and I th I think she would do do decent. I I could also evil to this water person use her as well. Oh wait, I have this water Arthur that I that I uh, that I wanted to raise. I can actually raise that to evil two of level sixty. I can start using that for PvP. So for this team, it's basically just whatever monsters I had left that I didn't use before. These are the only guys that are left. Like this is what's left um, after I used everything for PvP. So this is this is all I got. Uh, the, this is just four attackers. This is just uh, well, the, I, I built this guy tanky, but basically it's just two attackers, shield. Um, they have one water, but she has no damage, so it's fine. Uh, these are like all my RGB monsters, and this one is. Uh, I realized something. You know, for all my other teams, they were full light dark. Yeah, they were all light dark. Like, completely, 100% full light dark. All the teams I used on, on offense up until now. So this is basically what I have left. Um, but I decided to throw in my dark Indra because, you know, he's not too good for PvP, but he at least has some gems, so I guess he's the best I got. My third fight's usually pretty sad. I think if I, in the future, if I want to like seriously do do clan battles, I'll use my first fight for someone that's like you know really really strong, and then for a second fight, I'll find someone that's like slightly easier, and for third one, I'll just like find someone with like a no defense or something like that and hit them with that. They basically just have aggressors. I bet she doesn't have too much resistance. Um, Whoa, well, this it's starting to lag a bit. I don't know why. Clan Battles does lag a little bit for me. Ooh, she actually resisted that. I'll probably gem up some of my other light nukers so I can use them to nuke, like, for my last team. Um, you know, re regem my light Medusa, light Snowy, and light, uh,. Late July. I think that I think that will definitely be helpful. I I feel like fire is definitely meta because um, there's not too many good water monsters on defense. At least not in like the lower tiers. Like there's the top top tier monsters on defense that are like pretty high threat, like Water Arthur. Um, if they if they actually do have that running, or or if they like hide a water valk or something like that. Um, but usually those are going to be like your top top teams. So for like your third team with like your leftover units, if you have mostly some fire nukers, they're actually pretty good because there's not there's not there's a lot of um, you know a lot of people. Well, actually, a lot of people do have water, but most of their water monsters are like Monas and stuff, which they'll put in a slightly better team. Um, and I just I just think there's not too many too many high threat like Nat five water monsters. 
that people can use. Like we can take a look at people's defense and I can I can kind of show you what I mean. If we're still allowed to take take like if we're still allowed to take a look at their defense after this. All right, Jin's definitely OP. This is the SP Siphon team used for farming. Um, but yeah, as, as I was saying, like, damn it, I can't take a look at their defense. Alright, we'll take a look at our clanmates' defense. Like, alright, this is all light dark. You know, it's pretty, <laughs> pretty straightforward. A lot of the top tier are either nat fives or light dark. Um, but like, this has no water threat. I mean, this this is one water threat. This has the water valk. But you can you can kind of counter this. Like if you want to bring two water nukers, like a water valk is so squishy that you can just bring in one wood nuker, and you can pretty much take care of her pretty easy. And if you can't, then she's probably built with like one slot HP. Then you have nothing to fear. Um, this one has no water threat either. You know, this one has no water threat. This one is uh this one has one, but this isn't really too threatening. Um, she is an attacker, but she has she has she has a defense down, and I guess if it lands on your fire nukers, it's kind of bad. But on first turn, since you go first, you can basically go and nuke down like you know like one of their aggressors, and basically um, you know Snowy will pop out, and maybe the two of them might be able to kill one of your guys. But next turn, you're definitely going to kill the Snowy for sure, and then they're it's like three on three basically um, after that. Like, there's, there's not too much water threat, I don't think. The only thing you have to worry about is when they hide a water valk. That's probably the most threatening thing. But even if they do, like, say for example, you bring some fire nukers in, you can kill this Leo really fast. Well, I, actually, you can kill this uh, Sea Star really fast. And then, as long as you have, like, something that... Uh, as long as you're not, like, a full 100% um, fire team. Like, say for example, you have another aggressor, or you have a wood monster, like a wood nuker or something like that. Um, you can still kill this this Valk very, very easy. Um, that might actually be a little bit of a problem. And then, like, Persephone has no threat. Basically, if you have a Fire Nuker in, especially someone with self sustain like Fire Succubus, um, she's almost like a waste of a slot, basically. Um, so, I, I don't think... I think... I think uh, well, actually, Water Sura is quite annoying as well for your Fire Nukers. But he has no threat. He basically just has CC. And if he stuns you, it's like... It could be bad, but it, it's very situational as well. Um, this one has water Sura. I guess he's kind of a water threat, but still not too threatening. This has no water threat either. This 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 isn't really a threat. This this isn't really a threat either. Like it has no attack. I, I feel like there's a there's there's a lot more uh, there's a lot more annoying wood monsters. Like, you know, like, if you bring, if you have, like, a wood leo, and then you have a bunch of water monsters going into this fight, um, you're gonna have a bit of a trouble, like, bit of trouble killing the Odin, and the, the wood leo is gonna, like, armor break your, your water monsters, and they might, might not necessarily, um, be able to even kill the, the, the Odin on first turn. I mean, they could, probably, if they all in, but the next turn, the light tiger will pop out, and then they have, like, uh, aggressor plus, plus nuker. And then he he has like the armor break. So what could very what could happen next turn is like if you if you're using like a water nuker, um, if these two hit like the same target, that guy's dead. And even if they don't, um, sometimes maybe like if these three hit the same target, or maybe these two hit the same target, um, there's a potential to actually kill your your water nuker as well. So I just feel like there's a lot uh, it's a lot safer to bring fire nukers in than bring like water nukers if you if you're not using light and dark. That's just uh, that's just my observation of uh, of the meta, I guess. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's that's all I really really wanted to say. Um, if you have any questions, um, definitely be sure to ask me. I decided to make a video now because I you know clan battles was up, so I was like, oh, might as well. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go back to farming. Go going back to uh, going back to uh, taking care of some business. Yes, taking care of some serious serious business. But yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in, uh, uh, in the next video. Peace out.